The MTS Board of Directors held a special meeting today over the ongoing worker strike affecting the South Bay. The board voted today to set a deadline for their staffing company, TransDev, to end that dispute in the next eight days. Fox 5's Crystal Kumwe has more on the reaction. The ongoing strike against the MTS contracted company TransDev started last month, severely limiting bus service in the South Bay and East County. I've seen some comments from people around our city saying, oh, I wish those people would get back to work. I wish they would drive. On Thursday morning, Shane Harris, the president of the People's Association of Justice, rallied a crowd outside MTS headquarters calling on TransDev to improve work conditions. They're not going to drive until they get the end of split, of the split shifts. They're not going to drive until they get clean bathrooms on their routes. The rally was held ahead of the MTS board meeting to consider a plan to offer an extra million dollar for the current contract if service is restored by Friday next week. In my view, the $1 million is relatively small in the scheme of things, but it's an effort to help end the strike. The board voted 8 to 6 to set a deadline for TransDev to end the labor dispute by June 23rd. Everybody has suffered from the strike. Nobody is winning. Bus driver union members like James Dean are disappointed by the board's decision. They want the board to cancel the contract with TransDev. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're strong. It's not. We're strong. The union's strong. We're fine. But Dean says the major concern is for the passengers they serve, especially those with disabilities. Medical vans are supposed to be able to cover paratransit. But we know that 800 plus of our clients are taxi exempt and have no form of transportation other than the buses that we use. But with no agreement on the table, they'll continue to stand on the picket line. They're not going to drive until TransDev, a multi-billion dollar company, meets the negotiated terms of our workers. For now, the bus drivers are still on strike, but they are expected once again to meet TransDev at the negotiating table tomorrow morning. In Kearney Mesa, Christelle Kumwe, Fox 5 News.